The McLaren SLR 722GT prototype next to it. The Bugatti EV110 SS, the Lamborghini Diablo SE30. Hi guys and welcome to the 2022 Salon Preve here in the glorious grounds of Blenheim Palace behind me. Now this is an amazing event. Not only do we have these amazing classic supercars you see behind me, but some quite vintage cars over there. In addition to this, this is also a place where a lot of manufacturers are debuting new stuff. Some European debuts, some world debuts, and we'll go around, we'll have a look at that. We'll go around and have a look at some of these cars. We'll try to talk to a few people and we'll bring you a little bit of a taste of what it's like to visit Salon Preve here at Blenheim Palace. around this incredible platinum collection that they've got here at the Solon Preve. That's a 1997 Porsche 911 GT1 race car, racing livery over here. We have 1973 Lamborghini P400 Mura SVJ, this one. This is without the eyelashes. I like the one with the eyelashes. This is pretty much in race spec. Look at the riveted bodywork. That's, that's telling you a lot about the intention of this car. 
Yota. Check it out. That's a thing of beauty, even with its sort of riveted panels and stuff. Look at the interior of this thing. That is just incredible. You just want to sit in there and put on that four point harness, five point harness, whatever it is, and go racing. Now, what is this? That is absolutely incredible. Stand clear of hazardous areas while engine is running. It's a car, it's a hazardous car indeed. Now this has got a Rolls Royce engine. It's a, a Handley Special. That's what that is. A 1930 Rolls Royce Phantom II Handley Special. This one is registered. And it just looks absolutely crazy. 2010 Lamborghini Reventon Roadster and it's very matte silver, matte grey very dramatic, I mean just look at the wing mirrors alone I think they're folded in in this case hence they're slightly misaligned look at the interior, look at that, Reventon over here, this is the 1960 Aston Martin DB4 so this is the one before the one that Bond had this thing is amazing, look at that, 1963 Morgan SLR, that's a Morgan, oh it is a Morgan, that's unusual, I am not familiar with that at all, I've never seen that before, looks like it's a racing car, race spec, it's got racing kit on it, so it's got cutoffs and everything, look at the slidey windows, it's definitely a race car, this is extraordinary, 60s endurance, 2022, what a thing. That's not just unpainted, this is bashed, battered and reshaped metal. What an extraordinary thing. This is the 1961 Jaguar E-Type Series 1 flat floor 3.8 Roadster. The car next to it needs, and the car next to that, need no introduction. We've got the 1997 McLaren F1. This is number 63 and next to it is number 64. I mean, these things are just legendary and to see two of them in sequence next to each other I mean, that just doesn't happen very often How often do you see that? Just look at this thing I mean, I've looked at it for hours and hours and hours because I've got a little scale model of it but <laughs> when you see it in the metal it is just such a serious, serious machine There's no compromise in it at all it's built for speed, it's built as an engineering, uh, as, a, as a thing of excellence when it comes to engineering is, is I guess what it was meant to be. And of course that unique three-seater seating position, the central driving position. What a thing, what, the, what a thing! <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Another Jaguar E-Type, this one is the 1962 Jaguar E-Type Series 1, a flat floor again. 3.8 litre coupe next to that is a Ferrari Testarossa but it's a convertible and this one's quite unique I wonder if that number plate is a real number plate 1973 that's not 73 they've got it wrong they've written 73 on the thing look it's 73 that's not 73 that'd be 80 something that's definitely wrong and this is the Testarossa, owned by actually somebody, um, well, I think, wasn't it the president of Ferrari himself at the time? Somebody in Ferrari. Specially built. Hence, maybe the unique number plate. What a thing. It just reminds me of the game Outrun. That's what I think of. Look at the blue detailing on it. Coach lines. Crazy thing. Wiseman, right? Yes, indeed. Wiseman GT, I think, yep. It's the one with the gecko as its logo. Saw one of these in Dubai once. Extraordinary thing. 2018. Wiseman GT MF5. Wonder what the MF stands for. Uh, McLaren 722, McLaren Mercedes. Um, SLR 722 GT prototype, the Nibugatti EB110. 
it's quite an amazing thing these 1994 model SEB 110 SS these are really coming into their own now becoming really collectible valuable admired and I think um, almost as a, an antidote to the the current sort of overly excellent Bugattis if you see what I mean this was when it was not so perfect even the build of this is you can see the flaws just by looking at it from here but it's such a special thing though Diablo Lamborghini special edition 30th anniversary is that what it is looks like oh I like the blue interior look at that loads and loads of velour Alcantara probably Alcantara 95 Diablo SE30 and of course the Porsche 959 pretty much set the standard for supercars of its era this is a 1993 model wow what a display
So that was a quick walk around of the show to give you a flavor of the cars and the variety of vehicles that are on display here. But in addition to this video, I've also done some videos on specific cars I've highlighted. Like for example, over my right shoulder, you can see the Hennessy Venom F5 fastest convertible in the world. Go check out that video and some others I've also done from the 2022 Salon Preve. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments below and make sure that you are subscribing and sharing these videos. Thanks so much. See you in the next one. A big shout out and thanks to Jay Williams over at Air Technic who are top tier sponsors of Brown Car Guy. Check them out at Air Technic Co UK for exhausts, brakes, suspension and body kits. Plus our other major sponsor, Nayajan Solutions. Much appreciation also to tier 4 sponsors, Muhammad Ali Humaid, Tom Conway Gordon and Reza Adil. And of course all these other guys who supporting on Patreon. Brown Car Guy is eternally grateful. Hey, think about joining them over at Patreon.com Brown Car Guy. If you can't, don't worry. Just make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel and website. Plus follow on social media by searching for Brown Car Guy.